Some podcast um, again, host with the fucking absolute most. Say, little boo, I got your boy back again. How he stacks, yo, and we in this motherfucker again, I mean, yet Eddie, again, Eddie. yet again, <laughs> yet a fucking again. We back. She said, What we talking about? Uh, we got a lot of topics. Hey, so we got a lot of topics to discuss. Uh, I'm gonna get into all the topics. Uh, I'm gonna get all Kobo, what up, boy? I'm surprised your ass not dead somewhere. <laughs> That's fucking. I'm fucked up. I wasn't even out that long and I'm fucked up still. But I'm up um, at 1.30 uh, doing a podcast. We up, nigga. It's the middle of the motherfucking afternoon. I don't feel like uh, we are back. Uh, man, we got a lot of topics. First and foremost, we are going to discuss, obviously, again, this is some some podcast. I can't reiterate enough how much we're going to jump from topic to topic, from serious to funny to goofy to wild and just be as random as we possibly can because, again, your brain... Although it's, 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 it makes sense of shit. It's very random, too. So you kind of just, <coughs> we just want to do that. We want to keep that going, and we want to make sure that we, everybody knows that nothing's off limits. We're going to discuss every and any topic that comes available. And if anybody that's on my live uh, wants to bring up a topic or something that's, that's that we're discussing, please feel free. Uh, he said, you just got <laughs> something we can uh, all get into and go from there. Uh... I mean, first things first, I mean, again, with the recent past, and we touched on it last time, right, on the podcast. We touched on, um, you know, the passing of Kobe um, yeah. and, and other, there was nine other people that lost their life on, on a helicopter crash, including nine his total? Uh, nine total uh, with the pilot and including his 13-year-old daughter, his middle child, um, technically not middle child, I guess technically it was kind of middle child, um, his 13-year-old daughter, Gianna. Um, so we, we touched on that last podcast, you know, and again, we want to make sure that we can send our condolences and, and send every, all our prayers to the loved ones, um, you know, and I don't even like saying, it, it, you know, you get so fucking caught up with what other people say, sometimes you just say it by accident, I, I hate sending our prayers, like, no, there's not that many people in the world that pray, so let's just stop that bullshit. I'm not sending any prayers. I'm just sending praying, the love. I'm just to myself yeah, again. I'm just talking to myself again. I'm sending all my love. I'm just sending my love and my vibe to them. You know what I'm saying? Not my prayers. Because uh, uh, clearly they were at church before that. And well, we can go into that a little bit later. But obviously, you know, it didn't stop the helicopter from going there. So um, I'll say this. I'll say that obviously that was a bad situation. Obviously it's a tragic situation. And obviously with that in the way the world is shaped today, mainstream media they got to talk about it right they got to discuss it and then within that they discuss that person if they're a prominent person typically people discuss their life yeah. right that's how shit goes in in the, in the world today <laughs> right you, you you're prominent something good you, you you're somebody that you know is famous for whatever reason you've been famous for a long time you're really talented at what you do and da, 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 and then something tragic happens and then they discuss your life up until that point or thereafter or if your life ends they discuss all the aspects of your life so the mainstream media felt that it was their obligation to discuss the legacy and life of Kobe Bryant. With doing that, obviously, there came up a situation from 2003 where Kobe was accused of raping a white woman in Colorado. Oh, yeah. Um, that most niggas forgot about because we obviously know it was bullshit. Let's call it what it is. It was straight bullshit. Uh, you know, we can get into the story of how the lady stayed after work to meet Kobe because she knew Kobe was coming there. We could go to the fact she had eight different nuts inside of her. We can go to all of Damn. these different shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she was hog dog and eight niggas like she that. She had a lot of nut in her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I, I'm not playing, nigga. That's, that is in the facts. That's in the, uh, what they call that when you go to Discovery. I mean, I, in, the, in I like, you know, they did the test rape kit on her. She had all the shit in her. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of shit with this case that isn't talked about. But the number one thing that we can discuss that is a fact is that the case was dismissed. Nigga didn't get found guilty. It wasn't like he pled out. It wasn't like there were, I mean, and again, there was some sort of probably an NDA signed by Kobe, you know, to pay, you know, to, to like, listen, this didn't happen, but I'll give you what you want so this shit can go away. Because this nigga's life was on the line. Yeah, That's like true. a little settlement or something, because his life was on the line. And it's like, if you got money, and even though you didn't do something, if you can throw a little money at it to go away, why wouldn't you? At a time where it's 2003, he's in the height of his career, this nigga just won two championships, like this nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was just, yeah. in, he was in the prime of his career, and something like this happened could have tarnished him forever. And then he turned around, he had this great field good story of being a great father, and then, you know, winning an Oscar, and who and a whole bunch of shit you're not supposed to do if you got accused of rape. So... I segue that into the conversation that happened uh, a few days ago. Gail King had an interview with um, uh, Lisa Leslie from the LA Spark. I believe Lisa Leslie is her name from the LA Spark. And basically, what happened was Lisa Leslie was like, uh, old school. Yeah, she's a little, little older, a little older basketball player, but she is like one of the legends, one of the first women that ever dunked and shit like that. Her and Kobe was good friends. Basically, Gail King. This was my last Google like. <laughs> fuck is that shit. We had, we had. Uh, uh, so there was a. Uh, that Gail King basically brought up the topic. If you don't know who Gail King is, go Google the lady. I mean, she's just been around for a while. Best friends with Oprah, so we can obviously know what type of person she <coughs> pretty much is. She had a situation, or well, she had an interview with Lisa Leslie, and basically in the interview, she basically asked her, uh, you know. Does this tarnish his legacy in some way? You know, the case. She's like, no, I don't think we should be talking about it. At least it's going on to defend her friend. It's her friend, right? You know, and Gail King is continuously prying, trying to get more out of, I feel like, Lisa in the conversation, trying to ask her questions and trying to talk about, you know, this or that or this or that. Or, like, why do you think Kobe did this? Or why do you think, you know, or, or you might not have been able to see it, you know, because you were friends with him and you couldn't see it. At least it's just defending him. And she's just basically like, look, man, the man passed away not even two weeks. He's not even buried. He's not even in the ground yet. And y'all are constantly diminishing and throwing dirt on his name. And I feel like she was deliberately doing it. Now, she now she basically says, she basically says in the interview, you know, after the interview, like, CBS cut that clip. She They took it out of context. Um, they basically, you know, promoted that, you know, for obviously clicks and views and didn't show the whole context of the interview because it's a whole bunch of good shit on there about Kobe and things like that, which is all true. I went back to take, well, I hadn't seen the whole interview, but I've, I I can concur that it was a long enough interview where I'm sure that two minute bite wasn't the, was the only salacious or bad part of the whole fucking interview. Yeah, sure you make videos like an old person. Yeah, yeah, she make Crazy videos. Yeah. yeah, but she basically like goes on her live, or she basically goes on her shit, and she basically says, um, she like pressed her about it a little bit. And yeah, like, people pressed her about it, and she was like, "Look, I only said that this." She's I very upset with CBS. Like she she tried to she tried to cover context. it up. Yeah, she tried to cover it up. But here's the thing: with it, even though things can't be taken out of context, as a black woman talking to another black woman, and you're discussing this situation, which is clearly something that we go through as as black people and as black women go through all the time dealing with rape dealing with sexual assault shit like that yeah, and it doesn't get addressed. if if he if, if, and it doesn't get addressed and this is a black woman saying like listen like i i'm i'm, I'm somebody of of you know has higher moral ground like if if this was anything like that at all trust me he would not be a friend of mine nor would he be somebody that i would hang around or have a family around or have you know th things like that like no i've never seen it. and she's prying and gail king you can see her with asking that question like well you know, Lisa says, I, I mean, he's acquitted, you know, he, I mean, he was, he was acquitted on charges. She asks back and says, what, I, you mean, yeah, she Dismissed didn't show up, dismissed because she didn't show up. So, what you're telling me is, is that somebody who was accused of rape, or that accused somebody of rape, somebody like a Kobe Bryant, and didn't go to trial, and didn't testify in their own rape case. So you do all this hoopla to not testify in your own why? Because it came out later that you were clearly lying. And if you testified, it would be found out. Let's call it what it is. See, nobody wants to call it that, right? Because nobody wants to victim blame or nobody wants to <coughs> put down somebody who potentially have gotten sexually assaulted because it happens all the time. So it's a fine line. Nobody wants to walk on that line. You found the right motherfucker to walk on that line. <laughs> because I'm gonna tell you straight up, this if it was a situation where you felt like you were in harm's way or you felt like something happened to you 
Why wouldn't you testify? Why would you go through all this to just not testify and make them go through all that? Oh, after you got paid. Oh, after the situation got handled. Oh, after you, after they said that you had sex with him and you went to work like you were fine and you had no issues at all and you seemed happy and everything like that and you took a DNA. I mean, that's why it's a fine line because, I mean, you know, everybody handles their shit. Everybody handles their shit. But I mean, but there's a pattern. I'm gonna be honest with you. Everybody handles shit differently. But if every single one of us in this motherfucking room got shot in the foot, I guarantee you we would all have the similar same reaction. Nobody would be the nigga to just sit down and spark up the cigarette yeah, and be I'm like, "I'm gonna go to my fucking ER on Monday." Shit. Fuck it, niggas get shot every day. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Nobody's doing that, bro. Like, everybody's handling the situation mostly the same way. In, in most cases, people do handle things differently. But I'm gonna tell you right now, that inside itself means nothing to me. At the end of the day, because listen, this man is now gone. This was in 2003. We, he did not get charged. Like he's, it's not a stain on his record. You know, that's what it's supposed to be, right? Obviously, we know that's not what it is, but that's what it's supposed to be. Why come now? Why be Gail King and ask her a question like that and say, well, you know, this is, you know, after you know, there was a lady. There was a lady. Um, I can't remember. I cannot remember what. Radio or she worked for Daily News or something like that, where she basically was discussing like how you as a black woman could discuss to another black woman, you know this this issue, and understanding that is it not possible for a black man to be accused of something from a white woman and it not be, it, like it's not a part of our history. You act like this is like so far fetched as if this could not have happened. Like a lie could have not been told on somebody who's a black, successful, powerful yeah. man. That makes a lot of money. It was, yeah, it was I mean, that like time where it was like, you know, because like even though, like even though, all, like even though we no. joke, yeah, even though we joke and we talk shit, I mean, we know R. Kelly guilty to the motherfucker, man. Hey, that nigga, I we know he did that shit. Can't nobody's, for that nigga. nobody's defending him. Truly, we, we just like the nigga's music. Yeah, <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. He, he, I mean, niggas he, are he, defending he, him, he, but like, what I'm saying is, is it's not Kobe. Yeah, down over. What's the Kobe situation? Have somebody read to him right now? If Kobe, if right, he really is. So <laughs> if if Kobe, if Kobe, sound it out, Kelly. If Kobe, sound it out, Kim. Can be. Hey. <laughs> try to read this. Try to read this motherfucker's letters. <laughs> this is past due. <laughs> so, so let me. So let me ask you this, there. So just with seeing that clip, you saw the clip. You 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 saw the way that Gail King asked that question. You know. Do you, first of all, is that wrong? Is that because you know obviously that way I feel. I feel I like mean, this shit was just totally out of pocket. It was wrong. Uh, I got a couple names for her. I, can I call her it? Can I can I call her it? <laughs> nah. <laughs> she gonna see this shit. Shout out to Snoop. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Snoop. No, but how, but was she was she wrong in the way that she came across that? Because now apparently she's getting death threats and all this other shit, and it's like, oh man, nobody wanted to take it to this level. Like nobody, I mean, nobody wanted, nobody wants to kill you, Gail King. Like I don't want to kill you. Motherfucking drug code. I don't want to cancel your ass either. Like, like, I don't believe in cancel culture. It's not even, like I mean, you know, she she really was just doing a job. That's how I feel. But I mean, but I mean, yeah, she did kind of be like, well, like it was the way she was saying that shit. It started to take a turn, kind of. But I mean, I feel like. They kind of just, it was, I mean, it's a fucking interview. Sometimes, like, interviews go sour, shit. It happens a lot more than you think it does. I mean, shit, speaking of R. Kelly, you seen his interview, got done with him, I forgot. <laughs> I did not act out of women, shit. Okay. Yeah, that was with Gail King, and you saw, people <laughs> praised her for that. The way she handled that situation, right? Asking some of the hard questions, trying to be, you know, being as calm as possible. People praised her after that interview, right? And now we see her again ask, having a having not a similar type of interview, but asking a question, asking kind of a hard hitting question in order to get a response from somebody who's close to Kobe. So it's like how you know how. I mean, what she was saying wasn't wrong. Like, yeah, you was friends, so you wouldn't see it. Like, I get it. I get why she said what she said. She just when she was just like, oh, I mean, you know, Miss because she didn't testify. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, you implying something? Because like, not everybody's smart. That takes shit the wrong way. But at the same time, like, bro, if you have half a brain you an intelligent motherfucker like can process into information like you i i feel like you know it's just you know sometimes things tip one way or the other but like it's still just a conversation but like it's so many stupid motherfuckers that they just take shit and run with it oh shit you know what i'm saying like oh shit no oh, hell no kill the bitch you know what i'm saying like no oh, for real like that's that's, that's what i'm saying it's like it's i don't want to crucify serious. here's the thing again i, I listen and now people do, I mean, you know, it depends, like, you're not supposed to really, like, 
it's like a respect thing. You're not supposed to talk down on the dead like that and shit. But like people still do it. But like that's not. She wasn't necessarily doing that. It, but when you dealing with somebody that's kind of like an icon, that's loved by everybody, like right. motherfuckers ain't trying to hit no bad shit. But my biggest like, thing, my biggest thing is, is that if you know, and again, I want to, I, I want to keep that same energy. And I want to say, listen, I don't want to cancel Oprah. I don't want to cancel Gail King. I don't want to cancel nobody because I don't believe in cancel culture. I keep the same energy even with people that I don't agree with or people that I happen to kind of like or agree with. Whatever. I'm keeping the same energy. I don't want to cancel them. I don't want to cancel. I don't want to cancel another black person. Period. I don't want to. You know, at the end of the day, I feel like if there's a necessity to do it at a certain point, we had a conversation, but I truly don't want to. Now, when I mean, that's why now, we hold on to R. Kelly shit. Well, what I'm saying is, well, I'm not even talking about R. Kelly. What I'm saying is, is that with a situation like Gail King, you have this woman who's who's been in, you know, one of the top anchors in her fucking company. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody that actually could potentially be a voice for us, but at the end of the day, has shot us down has had an attack on black men in a sense where you can clearly see it and there hasn't been any attack on their white counterparts people that have probably put money in their pockets put money in their foundations that have probably uh funded you know and got them to the level of success of where they're at today who knows how I mean, they got what it the fuck is what i'm saying man gonna do lobby about it Shit, i mean you know what, what can I'm we saying? do what i'm saying is is that it's hard because it's like i, I want to see the good i always feel and it's, it's weird for me because it's like I always want to see the good in somebody who's black and doing well, uh, you know, like the Diddy's, the Jay Z's, and things like that. But then you look at it and you say to yourself, "Well, because they had what they do, they start posting a whole bunch of pictures of like with Snoop with like Trump and Diddy with Weinstein and Jay Z with Weinstein and you know all these old ass pictures and shit." Clearly, before all the news was out, so obviously, you know, we could clearly tell like, "Nigga, this is Snoop from." So look, Snoop dresses with the age, so that was like Snoop 2004. Yeah. Like 2005 with like Harvey Weinstein and shit. Like yeah. you clearly tell us old as hell. So like it's you like, getting money, I'm getting money too, nigga. Like, yeah, like that, you know that was well, that was why they was. Yeah, yeah, that's why they was rubbing elbows with each other in the same room. They, they ain't best about friends. Like, yeah, they ain't even thinking about you. Donald Trump is way before Donald. I would have probably took a picture with Donald Trump in the early 2000s. Like, I don't like, you know, like, nobody knows. Like, like, yeah, I just Donald Trump. Like some rich nigga own a hotel. Yeah, yeah, like I see his hotel all the time. You know he racist, but like shit. But it's like fuck now. Now you really know. Yeah, like, yeah. Nigga would have took one of them. Yeah, Nigga would have took one of these yeah, with Donald Trump. <laughs> Back in the day. The squad by the so shit. what I'm saying is, is like, <laughs> as much as you wanna you you want to give these prominent black figures the benefit of the doubt, some of them you can't. I don't wanna cancel them, but some of them you can't. Because with somebody like the Gail King, somebody like Oprah, it would seem to me that they are I don't know, man, they seem like they're extremely built on tearing down us and not giving us any any build up like for real like I was, like I was told Oprah was supposed to build a school in Chicago I, mean, I just feel like Oprah was supposed to build a school in Chicago and was supposed to have all this different shit and somehow or another it didn't happen the the story word got out that if she had did that she would have had a whole bunch of canceling of like you know uh, 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 all of these different contributions and, and these different endorsements and things like that would have been cut from her and she ended up taking the school to Africa and you can help the kids in Africa and do whatever you want to do in Africa because that's a means for us to be able to get in to that country wherever it's at and and then create and do whatever the fuck they want to do, change or whatever. Like that's the story. That that's the that's the that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the theory, Oprah's the conspiracy that I was told. It's like you could do shit in Africa and help the African kids and all that because there's a way to exploit them that way. You feel what I'm saying? The, and and doing it here, there is no there's a way to exploit us, but it's not in that way. I feel like it's too close to home for people that want to help people here, and that's why Oprah gets a lot of backlash too. Because not only is she shooting down. You know, not only did she work in the city and live in Chicago, you know what I'm saying, and do a whole bunch of shit here, but on top of that, you basically seem as though that your whole script of life is built on tearing down a whole bunch of black men, men and women, and 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 not keeping that same energy with your with your white counterparts that are convicting the same shit, if not worse. You know, y'all get down on Kobe, but Harvey Weinstein is literally just like fresh off of a young bitch ass, like not too long ago. I mean, shit, uh, Kevin Spacey, that motherfucker, was fucking them boys at the parties. He was trying, he was trying to brush up on them boys and shit. They pulled House of Cards and shit. Actually, yeah. I, I think that shit's still up. I ain't watch it anyway, so I don't care. But I was like, Kevin Spacey, damn, my nigga. I was, mm -hmm. you know. I heard, yeah, I heard fuck about that situation too. It's fucked up. 
I mean, all of them like niggas it. be out here. I feel like they all be out here. But like, I think that like, I don't. I, I would. I, maybe. I don't know why Oprah would care about an endorsement. She's a fucking billionaire. Yeah, I understand. Money is money is money. To them. I mean, you don't know who's 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 fluffing them pockets and how they are and how how consistent that money is. I mean, if you're a billionaire and somebody tells you, "Hey, listen, I got the potential to take twenty, thirty million out your pocket every year," you're gonna listen. I don't give a damn if I'm a billionaire and 20, 30 million is a lot to me. And then I got my friend who also works for Apple. Then I got my friend who works for Google. Then I got my friend who works for, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, Essence Magazine or whatever. Like, you know, I got, you know what I'm saying? Then it starts, so the then, it, then it becomes the issue. Oprah. The problem is that the racist niggas got more money than Oprah. I mean, that's been the biggest problem. <laughs> Who's calling the real shots? Who's making them do the shit? That, I mean, shit, Gail King don't own CBS. You see that they could put a clip out unbeknownst to her. Uh, that that looks salacious and it looks salacious. very inappropriate. Yeah, like I'm just using the words that she used, right? So, if if that is the case and you work for a company that's willing to do that behind your back, and then the story is is now she got a big contract with CBS because of it, or or, or she's going to get that because now she has something to hang over their head in a sense. They can either let her go or they can keep her to use her because I mean it's Gail King. People know who the fuck she is. People want to hear her talk. Like, listen, who listens? To, who who watches Gail King? Who watches Oprah, right? Middle aged white women, man, okay? I know I'm not. 35, this is 55, 60. <clears throat> that's their audience, man. So they have to appease the audience. If that's your audience, you have to appease to your audience. Like, if our audience was, uh, you know, eight year olds, do you think we'd be up here drinking and cursing and, and talking shit? Yeah. <laughs> so, although, Singing songs and Although, although when you know, when those grown ass so men, grandy. those grown ass people go home from creating those cartoons and shit, do they do shit for kids? Do they do they go out and hang at kids birthday I hope not. I hope they don't hang out at kids' birthday parties and do shit. No, they go you do grown like shit. Niggas like Mr. Rogers and shit. Yeah, they go do grown shit. So what I'm saying is is that when you're in front of your audience, you have to do what the audience is basically asking for in a sense. In a sense you have to do that. And, 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 and no matter how you look at it, you have to yeah, tailor so whatever they, 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 they probably had a meeting, towards the audience. went over her points. And, and then when like, she go what? home, you should she, train that shit up. And when she go home, she probably like, man, white bitch niggas, <laughs> niggas, and this Hold and that. Over two, probably. Yet. Yeah, probably. You yeah, know what I'm just a lion king of feed off, watch scandal and shit, do what black women do. <laughs> so, when you, so when you think about that, you have to think like, man, I don't want to believe that you like this all the time. I believe when you go home, you take that face off and you stop bug dancing for a little while, you may have a, you, you may you know, be one of us, but the reality is, is that you're getting exploited in front of everybody else, and that's our biggest issue. It's like, you, you're taking down our legend, you, you're taking down people that we looked up to and admired, you know what I'm saying? And come on, man, how do you make a whole, how do you try to make a whole documentary about Russell Simmons, and there is no, they, they ain't, this thing ain't been to court, there hasn't been no, there hasn't been no, like, real evidence that I feel like it's come forward. Like, I haven't seen anything, necessarily, so it's like, you're coming at these people, you know, Michael Jackson, again, is going to quit it. You know, and he's they, they admitted to lying a, a numerous amount of times. And he's dead. And he's dead. And then they decided to make a documentary about this man going in that type of detail, not giving that man an opportunity to fucking defend himself. That's fucking foul, man. That's a that's foul. Like that's foul to me. Like I'll never I'll never respect that. So that goes into my next question. Is there an attack? Is 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 there an attack on a black man? Has it been a consistent attack on a black man? Is that something that is even real? Like what 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 is that? Because we see it happening a lot. I mean, what are your what your, what are your thoughts on that, man? Because that's something that. I mean, historically, yeah, there is an attack on black men. I think that right now we're just dealing with like the after effects of like certain things have been certain ways for a while. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's like a direct attack right now, but I just feel that we're just not doing very well. Like we're like, the majority of black men just don't make that much money, like, you know, like, that's the reason I don't have shit to look up to, like, motherfuckers just don't be knowing shit, like. So yeah, because every leader that we have to look up to either gets fucking killed for no obvious reason or they get their name tarnished. This is true. This everybody is knows, true. everybody knows you only to, you only. You Actually, the government, definitely, during. You, like, only, insp you only inspire, uh, you only typically inspire, you either, there's two ways that a the person... The government was actively killing black leaders. They, they don't really right. do that anymore. There's but actually ways, they might, we don't know about yeah, it. Because you, just Cause you know there's people way. from Ferguson that was ending up in trunks, tied up and shit, burned up. It was mm. it, like, it, it was a black official, I don't know, something happened to her. She wound up in like, in like a mm -hmm. like 
killed in Trump. I don't know. It was a couple so, people. I don't remember the exact stories, but so, I don't know if it was conspiracy related. But it just well. So what I'm all right. So let's look at that. So if you if you have um, if you have this look, there's only two ways, and this is this is my this is my thinking, right? This is the way I'm looking at it. There's only two ways to truly build a individual up to be like you know to be like a. I don't even know what you want to call it. Just to be somebody that's successful in society or somebody that is, you know, has some sort of influence. There's two ways of doing it, right? You either teach that man his history or you show that man somebody who's worth inspiring to be, right? So you only have two options. You either be, you get entrenched in your history, learn about yourself, right? Which yeah. they've stripped away from us. Right, because the only way to get pride, only way to build pride is hey, to know about yourself. Right, you get raised to yeah. hey, okay. your grandfather was the a your grandfather was an is. emperor, your grandfather was an emperor, and his dad was a king, and 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 you come from this this line of you know just wealth and and, and, and prosperity and things of that nature, right? And then you grow up with this sense of like, oh, I'm kind of the shit, right? You know what I'm saying? That's what you oh, grow yeah. up with. Or or you don't have any of that, but you have a whole bunch of black men around you. I'm speaking specifically to black men because I'm not talking about nobody else. I, again, every human nature, every every human, every race has this same thing. It applies for everybody, but I'm specifically right now talking about black men. So if you talk, if you see, if if you don't have any history of yourself, and then you look in and, and and you see great black men all around you, you aspire to be like them. Yeah. You aspire to be around what you're around. So if you see something and it's really positive, you either it's positive to you no matter what, if it's around you and it, and it looks inspirational, chances are you're gonna grab onto it. Whether it's you inspired to have a whole bunch of money and fast cars and a whole bunch of, you know what I'm saying, you know, nice jewelry, or you inspire to have a brand and go to college, or you know, just to be this 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 smart individual who, who wants to, you know, build rocket ships, whatever. No matter what the fuck it is, those are the only two ways to really truly I guess grow or or become yourself or become a greater version of what you would be if you didn't have either of those things. Like if you was just somebody that just was out here. The only way to do that is to. There's not one successful person that you can't either tell me two things. They didn't have somebody around, around them, somebody that either grabbed onto them and got them to be more successful. Eventually, at a certain point, you can get you can have success and just be like a wild nigga with success and just ran into some money. But eventually, to, to hold on to it, to maintain it, and to build it, you got to have a mentor or somebody around you. Or you have to be really entrenched in the knowledge of self, meaning your history. Those are the only two ways that can happen. If they, I mean, if there's clearly an attack to keep our history from us, clearly see that, and then you clearly kill off our leaders and and and, and people that are well, yeah, you know, because inspiring. Look, 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 check it out. There is a clear attack on black people. Period. Well, like that because you're attacking the two things that make way. us great. Think about it this way. <laughs> Would you, like, okay, right. Most people, like, the fact of life is you do something. Tell me I'm lying. You risk your retaliation, right? So the only way to, like, absolutely win is to make sure that motherfuckers can't retaliate. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm not saying necessarily that it's a direct war just solely on black men, but it's just probably, like, the whole racial thing. Like, they got to keep that shit going. So they just gotta keep do us new down things and keep them up. To, yeah they just do new things to make sure right. like because bro because let's be real but who else who else can they attack in that way because never, you can't take the chinese we, man it's some, history away. like there's slave revolts <laughs> in the u.s they don't really get talked about like that it's slave revolts across the entire caribbean across the south uh like south yeah, america we won a lot of we, we everywhere won a lot of battles, we actually. won a lot of them too with haiti being one of the most famous but at the mm -hmm. same time it was it was something in mexico uh, i mean if, if i'm not mistaken it was Africans that was fighting in like South American revolutions alongside that one dude, mm -hmm. Simon, Simone Bolivar, whatever you know what I'm saying. Like well, so, but what I'm saying, but even they don't really tell us that they don't want us to be like, yo, fuck this, we got our own shit. Even when like they talk about like uh, Black Wall Street and shit like that, mm -hmm. they don't want us to know that shit. Yeah, because then we might get empowered, but we can find the shit out anyway, and that's why it's important that we share. Because I'm like knowledge itself. Like I feel like I'm a different person trying to figure out like who I am and where I came from and I feel better about myself when I didn't know nothing, I felt like shit. Mm -hmm. And I was like, the fuck is the point of being here? You know what I yeah, mean? Like, okay. So I understand how people feel, but then yeah. at the same time, like listen to my auntie, 
you know what I'm saying? I did my little ancestry and shit. I'd be like, oh, you know, I'm this, I'm that. I'm coming from here. I'm getting into the cultures. I'm getting into different music, trying to learn some different languages and shit. You know what but I'm saying? Hard. Like trying it's, to It's hard to do that when you get to a certain point because for a lot of people, it's like, man, I am who I am and I know what I know. I don't want to learn. I don't want to. Nobody, well, no, man, okay. no man or no human wants to admit at 30 years old they're trying to find themselves. I don't know why. I'm but what I'm saying, it, it, takes a level of, it takes a level of humbleness to be able to do that. That's what I'm saying, that there is a clear attack on us because, again, you have to study the human psyche and the brain and understand that, that they had this all kind of mapped out because if you take away somebody's history and you don't give them anything to inspire to be like, naturally, they'll get to a certain point where it's like they're going to either put themselves in the system or they're going to create havoc in their life or they're going to have something. Now, they're going to get to a point where they may eventually get, you know, come clear minded, right? And then that's when shit gets heinous. But think about a lot of those people, what does it take for them to get to that point, right? Jail, clearly is one way. Cause you see a lot of people that go in and come out with a religion or some sort of knowledge of self or read a whole lot of books and shit like that, right? But they've been in jail, they're institutionalized. And they've been yeah. there so long to where it's like, when you come back out to society, nobody's gonna listen to you cause you're ex-con, you're ex-murderer, right? Or you're gonna be, uh, uh, you're gonna go. You're gonna have psych. You're gonna have psychotic episodes. You you might fucking get so entranced in the shit where you start losing your mind. That has also happened to people. Like there was a meme where somebody was somebody had posted like it was like Lisa Simpson with like third eye like elevating. It was like what happens when you think you know you get the knowledge of self and then what really happens is like her like shaking crazy and shit like that because well, like yo that shit is fucking. The truth when is, I found, when I found out like all the shit that I found out. I like, think the average I had mind can handle how fucking bleak. Man, I had moments where I was I was fucked up. I was Exist like, I cannot Existence believe that we're living in this world. And it's like now I see the world so differently. It's like I see, it's like I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but I be seeing the world in such a gray mode. Like it's shit that like normally happens. Like I'll see like an advertisement. We're like, man, that motherfucking shit right there. Look at all that symbolism. And then I'm looking at the shit and I'm like, man, that's such a fucking plot to fucking well, trick your mind. It, I mean, shit. like I be thinking like this, like you know. This. It happened to me when I first started <laughs> Think, like, brother. like, like you learning know, about currency and shit. just learning about all this shit. And like you, you grow up and think about things one way. And honestly, uh, and sometimes you kind of like trained off wishful thinking, especially if you grow up. I, I'm not trying to diss any like my mom or anything like that, but she just had one perspective. So what she wanted me to be was. Now looking back, wishful thinking, like what she wished my dad was. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And until I met him, I ain't like that nigga. But you know what I'm saying? Like, my like knowing my Spicy. my granddaddy and all that shit, and realizing like, oh, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that, and realizing that this nigga, you know, he had a family. He had, he had my mom when he was like 25, my mm -hmm. auntie when he was 27. This motherfucker went to night school. You know what I'm saying? He worked a dirty job just like my ass. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get his degree and shit. And like he ain't died with much, but he he definitely did build build something and be able to leave it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and knowing that, not being able to see it fucked me up at first, but then realizing who I was related to mm -hmm. also made me be like, shit, nigga, this ain't nothing new, nigga, man up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So like, I understand yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand yeah. both sides, like, and I do feel like it's important, and then. When we realize that we just got to be that for somebody else, I keep saying that in every fucking episode. God damn. No, but, but you know what I'm true. saying. It's like, true. you just gotta like. That's true. I, now I know ain't no ain't nobody really showed me. Now nah, I figured out some things. I gotta make sure motherfucker know. And niggas don't really care at first. I mean, you talk to man. Fuck that shit, man. I, yeah, whatever, whatever, nigga. Whatever, old nigga. You know so, what I mean? Like, so, right. So, so now here. So that that's that's a great point. So <coughs> as we're discussing that, let's discuss the. Fact but it's for that, the people that's listening, though. Right. For the people that's listening or that want to listen. Or that, or that don't know that they need to be listening to this. That's that's those are all valid points because there's some people that really truly and I, I have to keep reminding myself that there are some real ignorant people out there that really truly just have no knowledge of it. That if they just had it, they would think differently about it. It's some people that I, just I ignore it, it, but it's some people that really the don't. The United States is generally uneducated, like grossly. Like bro, we struggle like a month ago. A lot of us are like, like. Smartest, like the smartest niggas over here, like 
are like moderate niggas in China and shit. Like, you know what That's I'm saying? Like, that our, our thoughts of we're getting, not. I thought of getting to success is not necessarily always based on. We're given education. the tools to become a part not, of society, not to like excel. It's not based on education. And then when you get an education, it's not really the education that you really need in the first place to truly succeed. I mean, they, like all the jokes and shit they tell you about all the shit you learn in school that you never use and you yeah. never really use it. I'm sure. I'm still no, trying. No, it's, I'm it's still true. trying to figure out it's where true, to learn. For hey, example, me, a square me, plus B said equals C square. I still ain't used it yet. But if you a chemist. We were the same. We just, or, we, you know, we had the same fucking, class. Bro. I don't know. Physics. This nigga taught himself outside of class how to do like a uh, fucking like graphic design and all this shit. And then one day I just wound up talking to him about it, and I'm like, damn, this is all the shit I should have tried to learn while I was in school, mm -hmm. going above and beyond. Because when you in school, they give you the bare fucking minimum. You paying out the ass for the bare fucking minimum. That's really all it is. Like, you you're not like you getting what they choose to give you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like. You have to like, especially as black men, we have to like, um, you, you, you can't just, I was one of them niggas like, I come from like fucking three generations of degrees and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like my family's from fucking Massachusetts, that's like one of the most educated states in the motherfucking, and I'm not bragging at all. I'm just saying that I was like, man, I ain't no nerd, fuck that shit. I acting too cool, and I stunned that's in my own growth. That's a big part like, of it. Like we have to literally be like, we actually have to go above and beyond as black men, no matter how we look, no matter how we talk, no matter how we act. So we have to go above and beyond, or we will not excel. That's a good point. So like, now, and it's the same with black women, but they do that. Yeah, they do it a lot more because they can come together. I mean, like it's even, it, it's it's wild. It's more or less that they can even come together more to do that because they have ability to express themselves and truly say, hey, listen, this is the issue that I have going on, and, and things like guys don't want to do that. We don't have that pride kind of stops us from getting to that point. So with that, when we're discussing that, we talk about. Uh, um, having knowledge and, 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 and wanting to learn or, or teach our people about ourselves and, and what really is going to help us be good for us, good black men. We're in the month of February. The month of February is Black History Month for people that don't know if we have subscribers that are going to be out of the country or whatever. I'm pretty sure it's worldwide, right? Black History Month is a worldwide thing and not just an American thing. So. Um, but I, you know, again, I didn't even know that. I thought it was only something that we that we celebrate here, like Black History Month in England would seem a little odd to me. You know, like it wouldn't. I mean, seem they like, could you know, have it. I'm pretty sure. And I mean, because um, there's a lot of black people. There's a lot of black. I just don't know that. that Dude, a lot of great shit. It's fucking black people everywhere, bro. Like, and I, I, I follow one like a dance page. It'd be the dance pages too on Instagram and shit. They'd be like uh, live from Germany, dancing. I'm like, the fuck. Live from the Netherlands. I was like, it's niggas in the Netherlands, nigga. I was I was watching the Olympics and shit. And it was like, oh, the Netherlands is in the league. I'm like, the, who? That nigga? Yeah. 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 Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is this? Right. This nigga so, from the Netherlands, nigga? Like, February. what? So, black history, right? Teaching us about, you know, shit, who are simplest who are, who are athletes and, and what all of these places that we're actually indigenous from. I mean, I've been live. called, I've been That's called a Pan-African as, as, as a derogatory term, but I think I might actually be, and I don't see anything wrong with it because... Uh, it's definitely nothing wrong with being a Pan-African. Uh, like, it's, it's definitely nice to know. If you can't know your exact history, it's nice to understand that, like, there's people around you in different societies and different countries and all that other shit that have endured the exact same shit as you in different ways. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, even with the Netherlands and all that shit, like, these motherfuckers got, what, what, what is the Gollywog and shit? You know what I'm saying? Them blackface dogs, man. That, sh uh, that shit Waka Flocka got mad about. Mm. The motherfucking Gollywog, nigga. He saw a Gollywog and was like, what the fuck is this? The black, the black something. They got a parade where they dress in blackface, nigga. Like, they do this uh, shit yeah. everywhere. It was like Sweden or some shit. And he was like, what the fuck? I'm not coming back to Sweden until y'all take that shit down. And then they like, oh, no, it's our culture. It's our culture. Okay, yeah, just like racism is American culture. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's everywhere. Like even with the uh, like with the whole Libya thing that was recently happening. Mm -hmm. Now, motherfucking like Africans are trying to get the fuck out of Africa, and they going to motherfucking Greece. Greece complaining about that shit. They going to motherfucking like Eastern European countries. The motherfuckers are developing yeah, we gotta white have, power. Yeah, we got problems no matter where we go. So like, you know what I mean? Like so with that, is Black History is Black History Month something that we should have? Is it something I mean, it's is, cool is, is to it, have, but we should just daily learn about ourselves that's and what others they say. They, they, like us. People it's believe, important. Well, the, the thought of that question comes from people believing that if we have it, if we delegate all of our history to one month, which happens to be the shortest month of the year, 
are we getting our just due? Because white people feel entitled to be like, oh, no, we'll give it to you next month of January. Be like, oh, yeah, we'll talk about that next month. You know, like, you know, and all of this shit that's happening with, with black men and shit and February being an historical month and a lot of shit happening in February just throughout history. But people always seem to forget that it is Black History Month and this is the month where we're supposed to be talking about, um, you know, our history and things like that. Is it something that we should have? Because it gets overshadowed by like Valentine's Day and all type of shit. Valentine's Day is like one of the worst holidays. Well, we'll discuss Valentine's opinion. Day. We'll, we'll talk about I think Day. Halloween's the best. I'm not a holiday person because what's the fucking point for me? But you know, that's just from my life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's but Black History Month though. Like, yeah. What do we what do we see from that perspective? And I, I mean, I, if we make it important, it's still important. You know, if we blow it off. You know, but I do think that like it shouldn't just be February. It should be just all this time, all the time. We got like, hey, look, hey, you know, you know what I'm saying? Cause like when you start knowing, bro, you start knowing. Like, like for example, like uh, they don't talk about, like you know, I'd be into the Caribbean shit. You start looking that shit up, you start realizing how many fucking revolts there actually were. Like niggas wasn't just like laying down. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas was forced. This was like, a, like you said, an act of war, bro. Like when you read about like the early formation of like like US like colonial like the, the the shit they were putting in the books nigga like they were trying to define like okay how are we gonna motherfucking separate these motherfuckers and how are we gonna get poor white people over on our side and they literally what was it the, the black codes all the Jim Crow shit like mm -hmm. all that shit was like written specifically for where people were like okay yeah this I mean legal that's why I, like I hate to bring up politics and shit but you know like the parties and shit mm -hmm. The certain parties that are like, well, if it's legal, it's legal. If it's not legal, then it's not legal. It's, you shouldn't be doing it. It's like, look, man, you could say in a fucking book that I shouldn't be doing some shit. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about your book. You and your stupid ass book. And your, you know what I'm saying? As long as I don't get caught. I mean, slavery was a law at one point. But they put it in the book. <laughs> they put it in the book for, the, law, fucking, for right. the fucking idiots to agree with it. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Because motherfuckers don't think for themselves. Oh, it's, well, it's legal. I don't own a person, but it's legal, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... Anybody in their right mind could be like, mm. but when you follow in the group, you follow in the crowd, especially back then, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers didn't just go to school. Motherfuckers didn't go to college. You know, like, they had all that shit. But the general population wasn't doing that shit. The general population was, like, fucking farming and, you know, doing whatever. Especially, like, back in the 1600s, what the fuck was niggas doing? You, you, you know what I'm saying? You want to move, you put a caravan together, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You walk across the fucking country and maybe one of your family members dies and then you set up... There and, and pray and farm until you die. Like that. That's the 1600s. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, no, it's no, a, no. it was a different time. Now we yeah, have all this information. We're taking it for, fact, for granted. Fucking come with that rock solid shit. But back in the day, when the motherfuckers that did have the educations, they wrote all these rules, nigga. Right. And nobody's contesting that shit. We could easily just be like. Yeah, it was a whole bunch of a whole bunch of moms. Maybe that's some bullshit. You're right, it was a whole bunch of it was a whole bunch of people at that time that weren't nearly as educated. Like the, yeah. the education gap was severe. Like now, bro, you all you that need really is had the like, libraries. Like all of those smart books were like in like the king's castle and like all of the shit that yeah. they gave you. And in Latin, and only like six niggas knew Latin. So like you know what I'm saying? Like they, uh, opiate ultra uh, the it's so it's like, this uh, is the what like, the fuck he is. talking about? He said we should just take them niggas over there, mm, bring them over here, make them work for us. Oh, I bet who. Cool. Let's make some rules about it in English. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I, I, I'm not trying to simplify world history, yeah, but I'm actually saying. very into history. I actually do. I'm very into history, not just American history. This, world so that's history. what I'm saying. This is your topic. So, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, you, like these motherfuckers, this was whole, this was orchestrated starting with, like, fucking imperialism, bro. Like, racism is completely fucking made up. And they did it to justify their fucking actions, bro. All, like, all of Europe conquered all of Africa, all of the United States, bro. They... They conquered the Philippines, nigga. They took over every fucking thing, mm -hmm. and this is like the residual of it. But since niggas yeah. don't know that, they're just like, "It is what it is." Oh uh, yeah, I speak Spanish. You don't. Oh, you're Latino. You don't speak Spanish. What a fucking pussy. I'm like, bro, you should be speaking like fucking. What what what's the like? Uh, I don't even know. Mm. There's like native languages, bro. Like it, oh. like. You know like what I mean? Aztec, like, like the Aztec language. Oh, like uh, ancient? No, there's, there's others. Like there's Sumerians? Like, 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 I'm saying the Aztec language, there was a language prior, like when we went to Mexico, mm -hmm. they were talking is about... Is it Quechua? I didn't want to say it. I wasn't so, sure if I was right. It's like a Q. I don't, I don't oh. know what the language is, but what I'm saying yeah. is their historical language, they, they're telling you about their history while they're still speaking Spanish. When Spanish comes from Spain, which were yeah. people that enslaved you. Same way with and I mean, Haitians, they speak... 
French when they tell you about their history, but they're speaking a the language that's not theirs, clearly. Well, they speak Haitian Creole, which is basically like, a, you know, like a Creole. It's like... But it's, it's got a mix of but it's French, French, yeah. but it's got like, like African like, words. It's got African like right. There was like, there, there was there influence. was language there was, there was language prior to them speaking French. Is what I'm saying. Like people well, yeah. were there. So that's the problem. That that's that's the hard part there. You can't disconnect completely because a lot of it is. That's why they say it's my that's, culture. That's why like the 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 attack started way back then because you're gonna bring a bunch of motherfuckers over here and be like, you can't learn English, nigga. You can't read. <laughs> what the fuck you need to read for? Bitch, go out and pick this cotton G. Like, the mm -hmm. fuck is you talking about? Like, nigga, you want to read? <laughs> so, Why? That's what I'm saying. Is, so for what? So with with knowing all of that, with knowing what you just said and all of that, again, my question still remains: Is is it Black History Month? Is it necessary, or is it just like, hey, let's just teach us consistently through and through? Like, it's just let's just go. through I live more side, on the side of teaching uh, ourselves and each other consistently, daily, monthly, yearly. I got you. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm, but like, do I want to get rid of Black History Month? I'll move on from that topic. I'll move on from that topic because it's like, my my opinion on it is, is kind of like it, it's it's in the middle, and I don't want to even have like that middle opinion. I don't want to be like I'm on the fence. Like no, like I want to have an opinion on it, but it's like I can't because I learned a lot during my time in Black History, so I have this like affinity for like you know having this month to learn and, and yeah. being entrenched in it. But at the same time, it's not really teaching a lot of us, and we're not really entrenching ourselves in it, especially the way we kind of once did a little bit. So it's like we're moving away from that a lot. So it's like at this point now, fuck the month. Let's just start doing it consistently throughout the throughout the year. Let's just let's just have, a, you know, a, a a a day of the week where it's just I like I think hey, we're this, already this starting to. Which I think we kind of like Juneteenth. I think last year was the first year I seen so many people like motherfuckers had barbecue. Like motherfuckers was actually celebrating that shit. And I was like, I was like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that picture of uh, where they had Martin Luther King smiling down from the motherfuckers. Martin Luther King, hell no. Martin Luther King Jr., I'm sorry. That, that's the nigga in me coming out. Martin Luther King, it is. Uh, you know, like, sit, smiling down over the field and shit. I was like, you know, I'm proud of y'all niggas. Like, yeah. you know, like, hey, look, I don't know. Drink, drink the picture of Martin Luther King smiling down over the field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, I did, see, I did see, um, I did see a lot of people, like, <laughs> I did see a lot of people like when they. I seen some like, people celebrate Kwanzaa. Oh, like like yeah, I seen a lot. I did see a lot more. Jersey it's a lot more Kwanzaa. than it used to be. And then what's funny is too is I I also but, also but saw this happened in the nineties, bro. This is every like couple of decades, niggas forget. It's like the niggas forget where it, where it came yeah, from. Yeah, because it's the more the more you push another again an agenda to, to make sure that you like hey this shit is starting to be a little prevalent. Like this year, I think yeah, it's gonna be a whole lot of more people pushing Fourth of July. Because I think last year less, it was like what you wearing now. for the Fourth. It's less well, of an I'm agenda not now though. Fourth of July, it's, it's just off work. It's our own like it's our own lack of like interest. It's our own like apathy towards the situation. Uh -huh. Like I I feel like. Cause I like when I was younger, bro. I was just like, I don't care about none of this shit type shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I'm just a, I don't know, whatever. I just what am I gonna eat tonight? Like I ain't, I, you know what I'm saying? Like you care about basic shit, you don't think about it. You know what I'm saying? Like you just don't fucking think about it unless you in a family that entrenches that shit in your head. And my mom, she entrenched a couple things in my head. You know what I'm saying? She even had me celebrating Kwanzaa shit, but my mom was clearly searching for shit herself. So we was all over the place. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I ain't really know what the fuck to do. Like we celebrated Kwanzaa a couple times. You know what I'm saying? We fucking. I was raised vegetarian, you know what I'm saying? She tried to go vegan for like a year. You know what I mean? Like all this shit, I seen it before. Well, you got a little more. But got, it's good that it's well, coming back. You got a little more culture in the, in the in the fact that you were able, you you lived a different life than most black men did coming up. So it's like for you, it's it, weird. It, 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 allow, it allowed it allowed you it allowed you to. <laughs> It's not even that it's weird. It's just it's I just, it's weird. Just ass different. I was it's not weird. weird. Like, it's just different because not a hard one. The weird one. It's very strange. It is. I mean, look. Call it what you want. I ain't it's always the, like to talk about. Now nah, I don't care no more. It's a life. It's a life that you decided to. Live, you decided. To, I ain't decide. Uh, I didn't choose to be. I well, woke up saying, one day I like. I decided. I'm saying it's, it's a life that. Put these striped ass pajamas on me, nigga. Yeah. Is it something that you have that you gotta you gotta live with the way that you were raised? There's nothing you can change about it, but it's like yeah. don't call it weird necessarily. Just say no, that it's just, it was just different. No, it was just different. It was just different <laughs> than what most people do. That don't make it weird. Because well, honestly, what if the shit that is normal is weird? Is, is the weird shit. It's just normal because they're like doing it. Right, exactly. What if people just decided one day and say, like, we're just going to just decide. We, we've got all these different ways to live. Let's just pick this way. And everyone's like, all right. You know, and that's kind of what's starting to happen. Yeah, it's like. Because most folks just realize when, like, cool. if I eat this steak, it's going to be in my stomach for like 10 days and shit. And like, you know, I don't need to eat meat like that. Then motherfuckers is gradually changing this and that and shit like that. And I hear what people saying, like, you know, like, like our bodies ain't supposed to ingest a lot of this shit. Like, that's where the racism comes. From, bro, like we're not even considered. 
we're not even considered. Our history is not important. Our, 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 our physical health is not important. Uh, they think we have a higher tolerance for pain, so we die more often in the hospital. You should not be dying in the fucking hospital. No. You know what I'm saying? And that's a, like a, a thing with black women. They're more likely to die during childbirth, bro. Mm -hmm. Just because niggas is like, oh, you good. You good. Like, no, nigga. I'm in pain. Help me. And they don't listen. I do believe our, our tolerance for pain is a lot higher. This doesn't mean that we... That no, doesn't, that doesn't I mean, don't think That so. doesn't mean we won't die from... I think we are... Our tolerance for pain is the yeah, same as any other human being. I do think, like, we are survivors, so we find ways around that shit. I think it's a little different. I think, I think... Well, I don't know. I don't think it's different. I just think that we... Uh, I think, yeah. You gotta realize no, having right, a higher right. tolerance for you're pain, right. it dehumanizes us. You have to admit that we have the same level of pain as anybody fucking else could possibly have. Oh, that's a good point. We that's just might have experienced more. Well, that's why I said our tolerance for... And we play it cool as hell. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said our tolerance is, is higher because for somebody whose tolerance is not higher, they would not be able to react in the way that we do to, yeah. to the pain that we go through. It's that's true. what I'm saying, that it's higher. I get I get what you're saying, though. What you're saying, actually, we don't right. want, I didn't think about We don't that. want to dehumanize ourselves anymore. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to be yeah. the ones that dehumanize, dehumanize but ourselves. Do, but, are, but are we human? That goes to another question. Are we Are we human or... Are, or, or, or we're God, is what some would say. What I'm saying, what, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> are we? Because, man, saying. we go through so much shit and we haven't died off yet. We're actually growing. We're actually still getting more. There's still more of us coming than, than going. Still. I mean, yeah. Still. Like, even through all of the mass incarceration and the killing us and all the crazy shit that's happening to us, it's like, yo, like, we're some fucking freaks of nature, dog. Like, we adapt so well to shit and, like, our ability to fucking create change and create you know well, just a different that, way of thinking and living and breathing and just just that, being a whole other person that comes like, from having to survive if yeah. we got spoiled we wouldn't be no different than white like, people in america man i feel like because white people in america are I, feel spoiled. Like, I feel like we were spoiled like i told you i said I think they're I said, soft I said, when, you, when you get to a good place you get soft and that's how you know I'm telling you, I we're getting to a better place because some of us are getting soft i said this on another podcast I but think. we need to keep the same intensity if, if we I, th this could be <laughs> Again, it's, My bad. I'm, it's insensitive, but this is funny to me because I believe that, although I don't think that it's true, do I believe that it could be a possibility? Yes, because if we are who we are today, with all the bullshit that's going on, and we still able to kind of, in some instances, come out on top and still kind of be the people that we are, I'm talking about as far as physical strength, just being naturally stronger than motherfuckers, just off the rip, just naturally being okay. being, being less. Can I be, not, hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm gonna get to it. But I'm saying naturally, but naturally also having the ability to adapt to these situations and 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 to be forced to be. I mean, like, dude, the life that we live when we wake up and walk out this door, man, it's totally different from any white counterpart. That they have no fucking idea, and we know it because we can feel it. We can see the bullshit. We can actually see it happening. When you're not, when bad shit doesn't happen to you, you don't notice other shit that's going on. You're not looking for the good of a situation. You're not trying to see it from all angles. You're just happy where you're at. So, for us to be that type of that type of people, and to be where we're at, again, it's unpopular, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Some some podcast said the fuck I want. <laughs> We potentially might have the times we were on top with some fucking assholes, man. We could have oh, been some oh, arrogant no. dickheads. You, I thought and you were going like, to say some other fucking. And the one white man yeah, was probably. like, I can't wait to catch yeah. this nigga slipping. Oh, I'm finna fuck Ooh, this. Oh, I can't wait. You niggas ain't never getting back on top. Wait till I tell the police. Big strong, yeah. Like, <laughs> big strong motherfuckers. Fuck that big, nigga. Big strong ass for the fucking And it probably business. started over some, you yeah, know what I'm saying, probably, medieval damsel. I mean, look, if you look at the history. smashed by a fucking. If you look at the uh, history. Kingdom of Mali, we were, you know what we were, I'm saying? We were, like, in, we were in England, we were in Europe, teaching them different things. You see, you see, look, they look. seen our empire, they seen the way we were living, they seen the way we were, what we had. They were like, look, yo, what the fuck is this shit? Niggas started like, realizing. We didn't even realize that these motherfuckers are down here living like this. Teach us your ways. Let, let us understand. Again, the culture vulture aspect of it. It's like you, this is why we get so upset at the shit yeah, and they don't understand. But at we, one point, I feel some, like, the smart black people know their history. So they're like, no, 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 no. You're not about to wear dreadlocks and braids, motherfucker, because that's the start of you taking that shit and whitewashing that shit and creating this like, yeah, we've had this hairstyle for over hundreds of years, and this is the new hairstyle. Like, you know when white people made, yeah, not they made the do-rag. and shit. Yeah, right? That's what I was just thinking this about This new shit. wave cap. But it's just a do-rag. We've been wearing do-rags 
they the call motherfucking it, 1800s. They called it something else, and everybody was like, the the hair, nigga, the hair cap, or hair, something. like the something hair. stupid, something that you know like, damn well that shit. That's a fucking do rag. That's a motherfucking do rag, bitch. You know it's a do rag. Like stop trying to do that shit to us, man. But yeah. If we know our history, they can't, right? But if they take it little by little, piece by piece, eventually we get wiped out of it, like they've done uh, uh, Egypt or Kemet, like they've done uh, uh, a lot of things. Did you know that hockey was created by black people? It's weird. Huh? That is weird, cause weird. shit. In Canada, you ain't gonna catch me created, playing hockey. Black shit. people created it, created the game, and it was very popular. What happened was is that eventually these white teams decided to want to take these over and they shunned the black team, the black creators of the game, out of the game. It's a fact. So many different things you know, but if you know your history and you understand it, you'll have an ability to be like, uh, we let y'all have that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we let y'all have that. Y'all had all the other sports and we, we snatched that shit from y'all ass too. <laughs> we snatched some shit from y'all, but rightfully so, because we just naturally were better. I'm sure that black people wanted to start picking up hockey sticks, we would naturally be better. That's why motherfuckers are so worried about taking a knee. We just don't ice skate. Because as long as you shut the fuck <laughs> up, as long as you shut the fuck up and be a good little nigga, that's all they care about. Right. You know what I'm saying? But like, the truth is, but I do want to address the thing about the physical superior shit like that. Damn, like, I'm gonna move on. Gonna move sometimes on. That, that shit, that shit, now, whether whether it's true or not, <clears throat> okay, you know, there's a lot of stereotypes of black, about black people, like, we're more voluptuous, you know, we're all tall and fast and strong and fuck for hours, you know what I'm saying, like, it's not all true, you know, we all have, like, huge dicks and, you know what I'm saying, fat asses and Super all that, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't know if that shit's true, and I do know that at one point in time, we was bred to be workers and shit, but one reason why I do have a I problem, mean, you do breathe, I have a problem. I mean, you do breed the best, I don't strongest, like, and the physical, most physical horse at all. Yeah, dog, but like, we right? can't just be like, yeah, physically superior, because like, it, dehuman it dehumanizes us sometimes. Like, I feel like it dehumanizes us. It turns us into a fucking object. It, we're, we're easier to objectify, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's why, it, the shit makes me uncomfortable. Like, somebody's like, uh, yeah, man, you know, you were legitimate. You do, do two pumps, and because you're black. And I just be like, that's, no, because I go to the gym, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's not about that. Like, and but when, I mean, I mean, we, we can't I mean, perpetuate that shit. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna discredit who we are and what we naturally are as people to, I, yeah, to, to got, be to be considered human. Like at the end of the day, but like, it's big means though. Like, not everybody tall, not everybody no, I light, mean, not everybody yeah, dark, not everybody true. I not mean, everybody got big lips. But I'm be honest, I've seen some motherfuckers that have never worked out. That day in their life, actually, yeah, I have that too. look fucking amazing with their shirt off. Uh, yeah, actually, I do. Or, or I amazing do know a in couple motherfuckers. I'm like, it's what it is. I don't know. I've seen some crackheads, man. I've with seen abs, some, man. But you gotta have abs and muscles. Crackhead. It just, Shit. just big swole motherfuckers. I'm like, how do you fucking smoke crack <laughs> every day and look like this and never work? I know you don't go to the gym. I know you don't do shit. All you do is probably like. You know, lift cars up so you can still tie yourself on your fucking <laughs> yeah. shit. Like, that's about as much working out as you possibly do. And they do that shit. And they look amazing. Yeah, but. So there's a lot of. It It kind of goes hand in hand with, it's a with lot color, of, colorism shit, too. I, like, and, and I get It's like yeah. taller, darker, bigger, stronger, like more virile men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like more fertile, more like. We're like, it makes us. It like. The stereotypes accentuate our animals. Side, even though humans all have a, like, a, a mental what's, and what's, animal what's side. What's wrong? With, I, I get what you're saying. And right I mean, there, I still embrace my animal side. I more, love it. Yeah, there's more to us than the physical specimen that we are. There's more to us. But than do a I lot want? Do I want a non-white motherfucker to come up to me and say, "You only have, you only have this, you only have this strength and resilience because I'm black"? No, nah, I want to have this strength and resilience because I'm persistent, because I'm dedicated. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's not some fucking freak of nature. But what's wrong with naturally having the ability? What, what's wrong with a race just naturally having the ability to just have something? It's in our gene. If, if the muscle, if our muscle density and our twitch muscles just so happen to be better than every other race on the planet by nature. Again, there's some slow motherfucking black people. Yeah, me, I'm, I'm flat footed. You, nigga, what's the 25% British in me? But, went straight to my feet. But wait. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong? But what I'm saying is, is, what's wrong with having a natural? What I'm saying is, is that I get what you're saying. It objectifies us and it puts us in a position like, hey, we can't be other than what we are physically, or we can't be what we what we are just by you know just our physical nature, whether it's 
our, you know, our muscles or motherfucking black people got big dicks, whatever. I mean, whatever. Like, those are things that I guess you can say stereotypes or whatever you can say, but isn't there truth to all stereotypes in a sense? I mean, there's one-offs. There's people that aren't, that don't have none of these features or don't have none. Like, but in most cases, you would think that... But I think the other there. races are somewhat capable of all the same shit. Not saying that you're not capable. I'm just saying that who's a little bit more superior in that aspect. Because I mean, there's nothing wrong with saying that black people are more superior in, in, in that. If a in human's a human, a race is generally just a bunch of people from the similar gene pool. So it was a bunch yeah. of niggas that were this way that moved over here. But there are birds. And most of those niggas got those fly, traits. There are birds that fly faster and got bigger wings, bro. Well, yeah. I mean, so, I mean, <laughs> you're not going to get mad at them but, because but, but the here's sparrow the, here's is... The thing. I, I get that comparison. He's fast as hell, and, and you mad because the fucking cardinal is like this. No, I get it's that what it is. But you can't mate an eagle with a cardinal. You know what I mean? Human, you can mate a, an you African with a Chinese say, person. How we know that? How we know you can't fuck? How, how we know that? Uh, look, you can't look at that. A house that? cat ain't fucking no tiger. You see what I'm saying? That don't mean they can't fuck. That don't mean they can't mate. They ain't kill that motherfucker. What I'm saying is, is it's possible. Not naturally, maybe, but it's possible. I think animals are a little bit more different than us. I think we're, what I'm saying is I think that we're more you homogenous see, you than we would like to admit. You don't see eagles going out trying to fuck no other type of bird. <laughs> yeah, I know. You don't see pigeons going out and trying to fuck other, uh, things other than pigeons. Why? Because not only are they naturally supposed... Naturally, they naturally are, are going to be around things that are like themselves. Naturally. And they also tend to have the thing inside of them, which... We don't know yet, but it's probably it probably can be proven that they want to preserve their life and their people. Yeah, and but like not people with their fucking their pigeon race. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're preserving that. <laughs> the pigeon race. We must preserve the pigeon race. They, they, might, they probably are, because they might know that they're dying off. And there might be animals that realize that they're extinct and shit, and they know that they can't go out. Like, if listen, man, I'm gonna tell you right now. If 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 there were five fucking black people left on the earth and and four of the motherfuckers was just out fucking every other race, I would fucking wait for their ass at the gates of wherever the fuck they enter and be like, hey, you know you had an opportunity to uh say, hey, let me talk to you for a second. <laughs> let me talk to you, for a second. you had an opportunity to save us, man. What was you out there doing, man? You was out there fucking everybody but us, man. Why y'all not fucking each other, man? Why y'all not fucking everybody else? Y'all had a chance to keep us alive. Oh shit! You had a chance, nigga. <laughs> that's why. That's why there's so many issues with you know iteration. That, that's the. That, but I. But there's a there's a level of understanding when it's like, hey, you do realize what's happening to us, and also at the same time, you you do know that th there's a plot against you. So it's like there's more of an incentive for you to be with people of your own kind. It does not mean that there can't be people outside of there. Outside of your own kind, that you don't grow in a, that you don't grow love for, and want to yeah, there's people that don't look that's, like that's you that are that. your kind, and that's, that's not that, that's, that's not saying. that's people what I'm saying. People. That's what I'm saying. I have nothing wrong with that in itself. I have no issue with it at all. I've never taken issue with it. My theory is though is that on the majority, there are a lot of people that naturally, for whatever reason, don't want to be with people of their own for whatever reason that there is. They're one offs to everything. There are people that just naturally just find an affinity or love for somebody who's not like themselves, and then they make and create. Cool, no problems. They're, but what I'm telling you is, is that for, it seems to be to me that people naturally want to be around things that are not like themselves. Black people, in particular, want to be around people or things that are not like themselves for whatever reason, because of you know they, they've been because they've all been we've been taught brain. about ourselves is fucking depressing. But like when you start yeah. realizing that it's not, you like yeah, you kind of be like, oh, okay, it's, like, it's, it's actually not that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. black people actually aren't fucking like. Cool. Black people sometimes Crazy we were we more all. wary of each After other all. than we are anybody else, and we be getting got by all these other motherfuckers because we won't trust other black people. And we all oh, man, niggas, you know you know how niggas is. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You know how niggas is, but I'm, I'm gonna go talk to this white man. The whole time that motherfucker is like waiting, lubing up, yeah, shit, waiting, nigga, right. like he waiting, waiting to, to fuck, waiting like to plot on your ass. Yeah, all like this niggas, <laughs> Birdman <laughs> hand rub. You know what I'm saying? So, he yeah. waiting for you to slip. So again, so I guess we're saying that Black History. So back to our original point, Black History necessarily doesn't have that much of a place where we could be doing it all year round, and we could be teaching us ourselves about things like that, like loving yourself, so that you don't have to go and be out with somebody else, so you don't have to go out and look for love in other places. You should find it at home. If you don't find it at home, you got to make sure that you figure out that hey, the love is here, and we'll teach you about yourself. And once you do, maybe you you know you might still yeah, want to like hang out with uh, Whitey. 
I mean, look, man. You may want to come home. I'd be around a whole, I'd be around a whole bunch or of different types of people on a day. daily basis, like. You know what I'm saying? And I just learn how to move accordingly, but I know who I am and I stay grounded in that. So yeah. that's all that, that matters for me. I like I personally don't I don't judge when it comes to that. I just know that I have my own personal preference because I would like to be with a woman that understands me now. I understand that that could come in any package at any time. Any, any. However, you know what I'm saying? There is a certain segment of women that don't get me. <laughs> hey. Okay. It's so it's understandable. And they can come in any color, shape, and size too. So you know what I'm saying? Like uh, you never know. So let's let's switch gears a little bit, right? Let's, uh, let's talk about uh, some shit that I've seen recently that just popped up. Um, the Nicki Minaj. I can't uh, I ain't been paying attention to her. Can you haven't paid attention to this no. shit? This shit is. Funny. Oh, well, she got the beef with Meek Mill. Yeah, you know they going back and forth. Her uh, Nicki Minaj. And then she said she was hacked. She Nicki, said she was hacked. Yeah, she was joking about the shit. She was I was hacked. No, you weren't. She was joking. About shit. Nicki Minaj, basically. Is married to uh, one Mr. Kenneth Petty, who happens to be uh, some grimy goon ass nigga from New York. That just so happens uh, to be a convicted uh, rapist. She's married to a, a convicted rapist? Yeah, his nigga's got a rap sheet wow. in uh, my feet. And I'm a size 13. <laughs> Let me shut the fuck up. This is gonna fry me on camera. Fuck that. When can come to your podcast and fry you? I'm a boy. Let me shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? Make you your ass. Woo. You own that witch. I ain't with that today. Shit. So, will make me cry on camera. Shit. They rap. <laughs> Idiot, man. The fuck out. Can I tell the fuck out? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, Kenneth and Nikki um, happened to meet up with Meek. Nikki's uh, around a lot of rapists, apparently. We'll get into that a little bit, too. Yeah, she's around a lot of Like two is too many. Rapey, rapey, rapies. A lot of rape, rapes. A lot of rape, rapes. <laughs> <laughs> they ran into Meek Mill. Nikki and Kenneth ran into Meek Mill over the weekend. Um, and they had some words with each other, and I guess. Kenneth wanted all the smoke, and he didn't want no smoke, and they was in the clothing store, and then it, it eventually... Oh, there's a video there, huh? It's a little video. I nothing see. crazy happened then. Nobody, nobody got I it. Scrolled past there was no fist of cuffs or nothing. No, nobody had no, no, no exchange of hands. There was just a lot of words and talking, just yeah. like normal. Mm -hmm. And then it took to Twitter, where basically... Oh, they kept going. Kenneth, uh, yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> somebody, somebody um, cut out a picture of Kenneth, mm -hmm. Nikki's husband, and put it in a in a Jimmy Jazz, which is a popular clothing store. He had on his outfit. They 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 they, they, screen, they screenshot him and put him in the window display. <laughs> <laughs> I was not seeing this. Shit. <laughs> well, guess what? They was baking that nigga. Hey, you remember when they baked little Romeo for the? He, he this nigga wore some regular ass Nikes, and they was like, "Boy, you rich as hell. What the fuck you wearing them for?" That shit was funny. They be begging to shout celebrities, and I'm like, you know what? That nigga still got more money than you, though, bro. Like, not like that's an excuse for wearing them Nikes, but this <laughs> kid niggas can't never take a W. Damn, like fish. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> come in on my man Kenneth Petty like that, b. Oh you shit. Do my hands like that. That shit funny as hell. So okay, so yeah, what happened next? Yeah, so me liked the picture, and then Nikki starts going in on this whole like, yeah, you ain't shit. You kicked me in front of your mom. You dragged your what? mom out. You put you you beat your mama up. Put that's not shit Nikki would say. A whole bunch of shit. All some random ass shit. Like yeah, like you know, put his sister out. A whole bunch of crazy shit. Then me? yeah, that's wild that shit. And then and then. And then Meek, Meek is like, lied about all the time. Meek, like people love to lie on Meek, including the judge. She 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 called she called him bad Bill. Bad Bill. I mean, he, he getting money, gaining weight. He, he built a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> he built like a normal motherfucker. He's been getting fat. Hey, look, Meek, don't weird, hurt me, bro. You if you see this shit, it's okay. It's all love, baby shit. But then, nah, uh, uh, nah, that's my man. So fuck with Meek, man. I fuck with uh, Meek. Uh, and that nigga's the bounce is. back extraordinaire, nigga. Like that motherfucker know yeah, how to bounce. Boop, boop, boop. Like saying, you never missed a step. You feel but me? But then, but then, 
this is where it gets kind of crazy because then Nick. Uh, well, the video came out of him kicking his mouth in his head. No, that was oh, funny. Oh, oh that was fucked up. Like, got my man. They got my man. No. Oh shit. That's not what happened. Okay, good. Because I was like, oh man. Nick no. went on Twitter and basically <laughs> outed uh, uh, Nikki for knowing that her brother was a rapist this whole time, and he was she was funding him, trying to keep it quiet. I mean, everybody kind of knew that already, right? And you knew and yeah, but she fought, she like paid for this nigga, but I miss her brother. She I feel like that story came out a couple years ago already. Yeah, it was wild as hell. Like I thought a real blood brother like goes to jail for rape and then you your husband is like convicted rapist and you do a song with somebody who's convicted rapist. It's starting to oh, become shit. a little trendy when things are trend. With I mean, but if you want to, let me <clears throat> let's smoke this fire, yeah. So. So what you doing? What do you think about what do you think about that? I mean, this this whole little squirm of, I mean, it's so many things to uncover here, right? Like you want to uncover the Nikki situation with it being like, like you know, like knowing like you're a black woman and you knowingly are around people that are convicted rapists. Um, I mean, again, we want to give people a second chance. We don't want to condemn people for things they may have done in the past. It might have been a situation we don't or it may not have been. Or it might not have been. But However, evidence kind of shows that it was a little more than just a, 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 a sexual assault, like, uh, you know, it was forceful, like, raping some kids shit involved. Too. I mean, sexual assault is the same. It's well, the same. Well, well, it's the same. What I'm saying so is, I'm like, saying. if I, if I, like, like, if, if, it's if, like, unwanted sexual crime. But if I touch, like, a woman's thigh, that's sexual. I mean, it's not like, rape, you probably shouldn't do it. It's sexual assault. Okay. Like, rubber, that's sexual thought, assault. Okay, so sexual assault covers everything. Yeah, for the most part. So then, the like, there's no rape. There's no rape. Sexual assault, I, I, sexual I don't assault. think there's no rape in Illinois, though. Like, there's the, no, like, there's sexual, a, assault. Yeah, the sexual assault. Sexual assault. Sexual assault. It's like, and then, and then, for force, for force, it's like class sex felony. So what I'm saying is, but is I that think there's different rape. levels of, but it's all the same shit. Right. What I'm saying, like, I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is, is that there's not like there are levels to like. Like if, if you touch talk, a breast, if you're talking crazy. Like if I touch a breast, if I touch, if I like, if I touch, yeah, a, you should like, touch like, like yeah, no, you shouldn't. But I'm saying is like that's not. Touch like, nobody that don't what I'm touch saying is this is like forceful. Like I pinch you down and like I stuck my dick inside of you. Then it's still sexual assault, but it's like yeah. a, it's like a, a, a it's like the level. six to thirty. Is there not a it's like in Illinois? It's, is that not a it's six to thirty level? class sex, but it's that's just they slap a little extra on there. But, but it's I'm, still the same shit. But I'm saying it's a different level of it, though. Like I'm not going, I'm not going to do the same time for forcefully like inserting my penis inside of another person that doesn't want it versus me touching their breast. It's not going to be the same. Well, yeah, you charge. probably won't do the same time, but it's, it's not even the same charge. I think it's all going. Oh, yeah, they might slap you with something different, right? I'm saying it's totally different. I don't, I don't really know. It's how, but it's just I don't different. really know. I'll be honest. I don't really know. So, well, we can always find it out. But what I'm saying, but I mean, is that we, can, salt, though, we can uncover that with Nikki and her son and, and, and that. But I mean, that's like you know that. But that, I mean, most yeah. of these niggas got in trouble for fucking. Yeah. So it's not like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Not, they all kind of seem the same. Fucking somebody intoxicated. Fucking what do we somebody think, that what do we think about said no. Like, is, you know is, that, is that just the petty? Is that just the back and forth? Because Charlamagne said something really that was interesting. It's like don't down down the person that you're not with now. Um, you know, after you know, you, y'all were together doing all the bullshit. Where was the outing of that when y'all were together? Like, don't don't become that person's worst enemy because now you know all the shit, all the secrets, and you out them now because y'all don't go together, y'all don't get along. Like, that's not that's not. I hate that's like some of the pettiest shit to me. It's like I tell you a whole bunch of shit when we're together, and now it's like oh, when you're with them, like I, I my body wasn't bad when we was together, or this this this, this you know say this this dick went a little when we was in when I was in your drawers. You know what I'm saying? Like now nah, I got a little ass dick, huh? Like, dude, what? I mean, honestly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't women do that. be overlooking they be that, doing shit. that shit. They be overlooking that shit. But I'll tell you what, if your shit ain't little, they'll say everything in the book but that. Look, fuck your mama. The sex was good, though. Yeah, I never, like, <laughs> I never had that situation happen. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that there is, a, there, is a, there is a big, wide margin of people. That have to deal with exes like this. So how do you deal with an ex? How do you deal with an ex in general? I, and, and on their level, it's all it's so public and shit like that. And they were all together, and then not she's just dating this random dude who's driving her cars and like all these clothes, but we still don't know what this nigga does. He clearly don't have no job. You know, so drugs. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see what the fuck this nigga doing when he could be married Nicki Minaj. I just think she's good sometimes. He sells he sells drugs and rapping these old shit. <laughs> you already know you already know what he's doing. You already know what he's doing. The fuck? We gonna candy cut the shit? Look at this pink ass shirt he was wearing. You know what he on. He on the same shit, motherfucker. Yeah, I know what he on, He on the same shit, motherfucker. What's the little motherfucking Mexican nigga? Buddy ass. 
Everybody trying to tell me he was hot. That nigga was like, you, you, you. That nigga was handing out fucking Tagashi. testifying testifying like a motherfucking Oprah nigga. Like, oh yeah, he was there too. Takashi. Check under your seat. That nigga was there. <laughs> yeah, Takashi six nine. Yeah, she oh, was. that nigga. But how do you deal with the ex in that situation? And he like, was, he like molested an underage girl on camera, right? Yeah, yeah, some crazy shit. So like. Me, but there's other motherfuckers that did shit like that too. But Meek, but what I'm saying is, is like, this situation is a little bit, what I'm saying is, is Meek is in her whole relationship. She's married, right? Yeah, they be a petty. They hurt. Rape, to a rapist, apparently. Yeah, it's like you and petty. How do you deal with an ex like that? Like, how do you deal with somebody who's in that situation? Or how do you, how do you, how do you I would personally have happening? ignored it if I was Meek. Yeah. If I was Nikki, I probably would have did the same shit because that's just what Nikki do. Okay, she just goes, she, she just like snaps off on people. Like, she be going, she just, you know, she did it to Cardi. Like, bro, she snaps on everybody, bro. Like, it's just Nikki being Nikki. But Meek could just shut his mouth because this is how they got his ass last time when he was talking about all that ghostwriting shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, just keep but, your mouth shut. Like, bro. she said, like, she was saying shit like, quick to hop on, hop back on Drake's dick and all that type of shit on Twitter. Like, I think they did that shit on publicity, bro. Cause they both, it's weird because they both put a song out, like, the next day. Like, that's what was also weird about it, too. Like, they both had songs dropping, like, the, like, the next couple of days. It's like, did they be people doing that shit? Like... I don't want to jump on too many different topics, but there's so much to uncover with that because it's like, you know, when you're dealing with somebody I think that whole ex, back-to-back shit was like, that shit was all publicity, bro. I don't even know if I believe that beef anymore, bro. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know. I think that shit was real. The only beef I believe is the Pusha T one because I feel like Pusha T was like, yo, fuck these niggas. Nah, I believe that shit was actually real. You think I, so? I believe that shit was actually hell yeah. I believe that was my face. Like, nah. Because I don't think Drake would even, I don't think Drake would have participated in it if it wasn't something that I ain't never seen I Drake see. participate in no other damn beef than that, right? I mean, well, that was the only one, right? He usually he was always like, I just be ignoring, they be talking, I be ignoring. He said something to push him. So, okay, said something oh yeah, he did. He, I mean, he, he made a track. He said something to Diddy. Yeah, he put him made a song about Diddy and shit, like all type of shit. Yeah, but then what did what did they say? Uh, that, what did they, was it? Ti something they said. It was like you let you let that man piss on you. The, <laughs> I was like, hey, it was Meek that said that shit. No, it was with the Meek beef. He was like, hey, you let that man piss on you. At the award show, and I was like, he was like, yeah, even Ti seen you, and I was like, so we just gonna let that slide with Drake, but they yeah, let it no, slide. I, I, I you don't know, remember that? Don't know, no, Y'all remember that? We Google this shit right now. I don't, I don't remember nothing about that. Yeah, it, it was, I think it was Meek though, because Meek's this wasn't that hard. I was more or less asking about the X aspect. Of oh, the it. X, yeah, 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 that. Uh, how do you deal with the X like that? I don't know. I I haven't dealt with like any nut jobs in a long time. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot. But uh, you have. I have before. Yeah, but you have. I try to ignore that shit, but sometimes, man, that shit gets you out your body. Yeah. It's like you can't help it. It's not right, but sometimes you just get out of the body. Yeah, man. If you have that much energy, like what I was saying, what I was getting ready to say was is that Nikki's married, presumably married, and Meek has a girl. Has a she married? Baby, she like, shouldn't even be talking about. Meek got worry about like, how badly built the nigga is. You, what you should be worried about how badly built your husband is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's just something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going in on this nigga. I don't even know this nigga. Yeah, nigga, you know, nigga gonna shoot I, me I feel and like rape the me. best healthy way to deal with, ex, <laughs> deal with that situation is ignore it because you don't want to throw st- stones on a motherfucker. Because at the end of the day, you picked that person. So y'all was together for a I'm, long yeah, time. I, yeah, I'm not, and I'm she not, stayed with him. I don't want to publicly throw dirt on somebody that I was with because it only makes me look bad and puts me. But people are like, yeah, but you can grow and you can be better and you can learn. Yeah, you can. But at the end of the day, it's probably gonna be a situation where. You, uh, 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 you know, you make yourself look dumb because yeah. you start uncovering the things that you like and, and what it is that you'll be willing to uh, yeah. cover up, yeah, and, or deal with. Because so if you out in like like you say about the Charlemagne and shit, if you out in the shit now, it's like well, you was privy to it before then, so you was there too, so mm-hmm. you knew, so and you was you was accomplished in it, so you know what I'm saying, like. Yeah. I right, said so that was one thing. I mean, you I didn't say wanted, shit too. I, I wanted to. I wanted to touch on that real quick because I know that was something. So, my favorite part of fucking. Favorite <laughs> parts of the show, man. This is gonna be one of my favorite parts. Stay of the trying show to throw me off, goddamn. <coughs> so that where we try to make Jason feel as uncomfortable as fucking <laughs> possible, and it's so easy to do it that if you just keep hammering at some uncomfortability with this nigga. His motherfucker's gonna explode. <laughs> like, cause he can't run, he can't hide, he can't go anywhere, he can't. I know, like, I'm blocked I in. I can't. Let me call you back, nigga. Let me call this. Nope. Hey, I, 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 I'm gonna call you right back. Hey, let me just hold on. Let, let me just. 
No, <laughs> we gonna, we gonna listen to this shit. Wait, wait, I don't even think this week's that bad, though. Like, this week is not that bad. Unless I think it's some shit. Last week was funny, too. Yeah, this, this week was week not that bad. All right, so let's, let's get right into the this or that. Uh, this or that. And this or that is brought to you by Limitless Credit. If you're having issues at all, Limitless, we're having issues at all with your credit, you need to get yourself together, want to buy that house, want to buy that car, want to some credit cards, want to consolidate some debt, want to understand financial literacy. Limitless Credit, we're able to do all of those things for you. Please follow us on our new Instagram page, Limitless Credit underscore. That is Limitless Credit underscore. And visit our website at limitlesscredit.net for all your credit help and restoration issues. This or that. This or that. Uh, first question, this or that. Okay. Wine or whiskey? This or that. Wine or whiskey? Wine or whiskey? Whiskey. Whiskey. All right. I do like wine, but whiskey. 100%. American or provolone? Uh, man, provolone cheese. Good. Right, listen, you have to grow to like provolone cheese. Like, I I don't don't okay, I feel like if I say provolone, I'm going to look more classy. But the truth is... Yeah. I've probably chosen American cheese way, way more, more, right? Than, yeah, the same thing with me. I always pick up American Even though it is, it's fucking disgusting. I don't even know if it's actually cheese. It's, it's just like a slab of orange shit. But like... Well, it could be white. I'd just be choosing American. It could be white. Okay. You got what? Yeah. I really like white cheddar. Or like a white cheddar. I mean, white cheddar's cheddar, definitely better cheese. <clears throat> My, like cheddar. Jack's. Uh, American is like, uh, literally, like, we made that shit up. Like, shit niggas just ain't. Right. We ain't gonna tell them what it is. All right. Glass of plastic. As in what? Cups? As in anything. You gotta think about it in all contexts of what, what comes in glass and then also what comes in plastic too. Think about it from that perspective. Glass. Okay. Nipple piercing. Or punani piercing. Who? Pussy piercing, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like them both, but pierce that pussy. But I'm, I'm gonna be 100. Yeah, pierce that motherfucking pussy. <laughs> I, I mean, Woo! it depends. Some women just don't get it in the right space. So it's all the time. This is bullshit. Lick your feet or lick your butt. Oh, damn, that's a hard one because <laughs> a bitch been standing all day. Fuck you, mean. But she ain't shitting all day. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Ugh. I don't know. What? Hey. <laughs> what? Yeah, my, what? How was that hard? That, what do you that mean? That was the easiest question. You would rather that. lick your foot? Nigga. Hell, motherfucker, yeah! Uh, I suck toes! Bro, look, I don't know! I'm gonna be 100! I, I and to avoid I'm, both I'm, areas! I'm, I'm, <laughs> uh, Not the uh, way you just made it seem, Last told on camera! This motherfucker just said... Hey! Hey, man, she been standing all day, but she ain't shitting all day. What? No! <laughs> uh, don't quote me! <laughs> <laughs> Please put those in quotation marks. <laughs> Please put the quotation marks. These are jokes, that people. Damn. And put Howard D. Stackington <laughs> as the <Stack> name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey look, man, look, don't quote I'm me. I'm going to be 100 with you. Quote me. I, I feel like it's a chore to do both. What? <laughs> yeah. A chore to do both? I, look, I, Have you eaten ass before, bro? Like one, maybe <laughs> two times. It's not a thing. It's not a thing for me. Oh, have I licked the foot? Man, I don't think I have. Joe, what the fuck? I, the butt, I, the I was butt. real drunk though, so don't judge me. Uh, I was real drunk. I woke up in the morning, fresh motherfucker, fresh smiling. Fresh out the shower. I can't eat no ass, man. I just can't. Like, I, I mean, you ain't gotta fucking put your tongue up in there. So, I mean, it's like you know, what I'm saying. I'd rather just eat the pussy. That's right what I'm saying. Seat. Like, I'll be honest with you. You can eat the pussy from I, the back. That's why I don't eat ass. Number one. Because I just feel like it's not hygienic. But neither is eating a foot. Well, it's a foot, so it's like, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm I suck some toes, I have... Uh, Personally, my feet out the shower? Hell no. Like, no. I ain't thinking about it like that. I know everybody asshole is damn near the same. This is very true. Everybody, everybody got something that... No that, homo. That's, uh, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's two, you know, a woman's foot and a man's foot are totally different. Mm -hmm. So... Hell no. But in most cases... Saying it too. Most, I ain't saying that they don't. I'm just saying I haven't run across nobody that's like... You know, that I decided. Would I rather suck a woman's foot, of course, nigga? But what I'm saying is, it's just, all right, man, let's move on, man. It's, it's, a nice man to show that. Foot he has the right to pick what no he wants. No corns and cows. We don't discuss that, that, that. If I have to suck the toes, day, I will. Been shitting all day. What? You only got to shit once a day for me to not want to have a And this is the reason why I won't want to eat no ass, because if I did, I would be going crazy. What is she farting in your mouth, nigga? I'd be going crazy in it. And that's the problem. So you're saying you don't do it because you would like it? No, I'm saying that I would have no choice but to go crazy in it because if I'm doing it, I'm 100% motherfucker. Uh, 
I'm not gonna hold hand. I'm not gonna hold hand. That's why ass even sound. Then you gotta run away like. <laughs> ah, I know I'm pissing this nigga off. Ah, hey, look. look I mean, he <laughs> throw me off, and this supposed to be about this. Like, <laughs> thought, hey, do it for a loop. Hey, 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 let's go. What's up? Right, what real, real love or real success? Six, success. Sex. Success. Sex. Success. 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 Shit, man. I ain't going on vacation with my ex because that, that, that'll be a, I'm not taking that many tomato baths. I ain't never, <laughs> I'll be honest. I can look. I got stuck in the elevator once, man. I opened that bitch. I am not standing here with you niggas. That motherfucker was like, guess we're stuck. Guess, guess the fuck we not. Ah! Ah! You know how cranky is there. There's a bus for a quarter, nigga. I open that motherfucking shit. I'm free! Fuck that! <laughs> hey, can you imagine? Hey, can you imagine the next time the elevator? Hey, man, I guess we stuck. No, the fuck we not! I can just see Jason, like, and they're like, stop, sir, could you just stop? Like, what the fuck, man? Fuck you! Man, fuck you! I ain't staying on this one elevator! Yeah, no, for real, though. Kiss it was a hood ass elevator. It was actually pretty easy to pull open, but yeah, I wouldn't go stay in that motherfucker. Kiss a dog or kiss a hamster. <sighs> Twenty-five percent British in me says kiss a dog, nigga. But I, I feel like animals are filthy. <laughs> they both animals. So. I mean, fuck. I take the hamster because that's a smaller. <laughs> I just be like, mm. yeah, the, the dog might actually lick your mouth and shit. Yeah, I, 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 I would definitely kiss a dog. I don't know, man. I, I mean, you can just give the hamster a peck, and then it's over with. Like, yeah, you know. I'll give you some food, <laughs> send you on your way. I'd be honest, I haven't said I haven't kissed the dog <laughs> before. I haven't like tugged the dog down, but I've never kissed many of dogs. Oh, yeah. The first thing I thought of was all them videos of like all them white people where they just be like, oh, I'd be like, bro, you don't even know the nigga like that. <laughs> For uh, real. Honey, uh, honey bees or honey fire ants? Uh, why you hitting me with this shit, nigga? I'd definitely take the ants because the bees, them, you're gonna have to pull out all them stings. I ain't saying that they gonna sting you nor they gonna bite you. I'm saying oh, a hundred? You gotta deal with a hundred. You know what I'm saying? You're in a closed room or something. You're just dealing with a hundred ants or a hundred bees. A hundred? I'd take a hundred ants over a hundred bees any day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It makes sense. But I mean, the thing about the ants. They, they, like the ants are. That's actually the, 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 the ants are deliberately just gonna get on your ass. Like the bees are not. Yeah, them bitches gonna go straight the to bees, work on your ass. The bees is not <laughs> gonna try to sting you necessarily. I mean, you're probably gonna get stung. Times for sure, but it's that they're not gonna descend on you unless you're a threat. But the fear level, probably exactly. just yeah. be like, Oh, God, like, just be like, <laughs> Yeah, the ants, we just mm, <laughs> start, start tap dancing, nigga. and that's how my tap dancing career started. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was in the room with 100 ants, and I stomped them bitches out, and now I got now to I'm on Broadway, nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Oh shit! And now I'm here. It's the WB here, man. All right. Uh, oh shit! Far, far away or far away? Uh, fart in your face. Oh man! <laughs> you want some bullshit? <laughs> you want some bullshit today? Fart in your face or piss on your shoe? Like who's over fart? No, it don't matter. <laughs> no, bro, look. Man, nasty this motherfucker. You oh god, I'll be mad as hell about both of them. But like, I could throw my shoes away. You ain't about to fart in my face. I'm gonna punch you in your ass. That's why you piss. You got that's why you piss. Oh, no, no, you can't piss so much. Then I have to fight you. That's the problem. Like, this is a burn. But you like, like, you can't just let nobody fart in your face. Did you have corn today, sir? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Or, uh, it's piss on your shoe. It's like, just, that just I'm gonna have to beat your ass after that. It's a moment of disrespect. Even if you big as hell, I might lose the fight. You know, then you pissed on my shoe and with my ass. But hey, like, you know, I can throw my shoes away and scrap it out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm gonna let the nigga piss on my shoe. Yeah. So, but like I can't just let you put your ass in my face, nigga. I'd be mad. <laughs> I'm mad. Shit, one man. Nah, uh, that's a tough. One. I don't like it. I don't like shit it at all. <laughs> I don't like this shit at all. Uh, no. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, look, man. I'm still going with the shoe, bro. Right. Matter of fact, you can piss on my shoes when they off my feet. Yeah, damn. See, you thinking differently. Thinking, thinking, yeah, you piss on my shoes, clear. then we still gonna fight. Cause nah, nah. Yeah. We'll pay for these. Right. You could piss on the thirty dollars shoes. Yeah, anime, anime porn or midget porn. Ah! Oh! 
this nigga knows that I do not like strange porn. I, look, I, I, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> First of all, I am not that much in, in No offense to midgets. But, but like, that shit freaks me the fuck out. So I have to take anime porn, but the problem with anime porn is it's a motherfucking, it's a bucket. A bucket of tentacles. And I, I don't really fucking, I don't like that shit either. <laughs> but you can filter through that shit. You can filter through that. But I don't want to see no magic get fucked, and I don't want to see no amputees get fucked. That's just weird to me. Okay. I did I tell you? Did I, did I tell you? This is we've talked about. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not, I know you motherfucker put no, this shit on purpose. No, I remember the lady. The the uh, it was this fine ass lady, right? She had no legs. I was like, man, I destroy that motherfucker. <laughs> I like, I will go crazy, man. I like, just I can't man. do it. Can't, I'm not gonna hold your nuts while I'm motherfucker. Like I can't do it. I'm sorry. Yeah. No disrespect. It's just not for me. Working it's not my lane. Like the, uh, uh, what's that, uh, what's that motherfucker? Uh, the green monster, you know, the, the bike. You ain't right. He's spinning doing donuts in that ball. <laughs> you ain't right. Shit, I would. I you ain't would. right. Maybe a bitch with no arms. Uh, but, you know, but, uh, no arms? So yeah, right. just one arm. She had one of them. Like, you know, it was fine. You got attacked by a shark, ass. but you. It was a fine. It was this fine ass girl that, that people was talking about because she only had one arm and shit. But she was, but she was Instagram kind of like famous. She might get like. The kids don't have legs. She was fine. She only had one arm. Like she had like. Who was the guy that doesn't want to date her because she got one arm and getting jokes? I'm pretty sure the guy that ends up dating her. Uh, you know, it's gonna no, be it's gonna be. It's, it's, niggas always oh, it's gonna. It's like ten niggas on the line right now. Uh, hey, look, don't don't listen to niggas, girl. You bad as hell. Yeah, no, nah, she bad. She was super fun. For she real, bro. Home. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, don't just turn to the other side, baby. That's all. That's all you got to do. Put that little, put that little <laughs> fake arm on there. You got one hand. I got one hand. Hell no. Hell no. Yeah, man. Uh, I, I don't have any other questions. That's all you got. That's all I had. I tell you, wasn't that bad. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. The midget point, though. It wasn't that bad. Pissing on so, my shoes. Um, eating booty and feet. That was actually pretty bad. Man. Yeah, but you eating booty anyway, so, um, yeah. Man, look, sometimes you gotta... Man, look. <laughs> <laughs> like Hannibal, nigga. <laughs> so, Tell you what, listen, we gonna fucking be canceled. Yeah, we done. After this, this episode's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 this is the last, last episode. One. We done. Last we episode. cooked. Welcome to the last episode. Son. We are cooked, son. They about to take our shit off. <laughs> it's over before it's done. Make sure we wrapped up. And obviously, again, I'm always on a positive note. We'll, um, we always kind of go back in detail a lot of what it is that we discussed to make sure that you know we didn't miss anything. And we always explain shit in context. <coughs> again. This is the Some Some Podcast, when, when and where we discuss a little Some Some of everything, but understanding that we do have a higher purpose for what it is we do. Joke, laugh, kick it. But there always is a, there always is a, there always will be a meaning, there always will be a story to tell, and there always will be a, a message to come across, especially our people. Uh, as we discuss Gail King and discuss whether or not she was wrong for what she did. Again, journalism is journalism, but understand that you have a responsibility to your people, you have a responsibility to yourself, and to the people that are watching you to make sure that you always tell the full story and do not allow for someone to take your words out of context. So if you give nobody the ability to do it, nobody can do it. Um, and I feel like she and a lot of others have been giving people the ability to do that for a very long time. Um, the attack on our race as far as black men, I believe it's evident. You believe that it's not nearly as uh, strenuous as it once was. I think the attack's already been done. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I think I think the war has been been fledged, and that, that's something that we have to look into more. But understand that you know when we live in a day and time where either one of two things are going to come come of um, you being successful, that's understanding your history and having somebody to look up to um, that looks like you, that's prominent and. and, and that representation, the representation yeah. is, you know, if you take, away, if you, take you take away both of those things, you are asking for uh, um, people to not have a level of success. Yes, and, and, but we're and, getting a lot and, more representation, and, we are. and that's why and one really, I think that I like slow. to focus on. It's slow, it's what it's going it's like, to bring itself yeah. back. Uh, black History Month. Um, we're know, in a black like, renaissance right now, I feel, personally. Yeah, it might be, and it might be. And, and that's a big part of what it is that we need to, but we need to explain what the fuck that is. To people who 
don't know what the black rap, black renaissance is. They have no idea what was going on around that time. You know, they have no idea. So that's why it's important for us to have it. And again, so going into something like Black History Month, is it important to delegate that for one month, or do we just decide when we want to teach it? Let's teach it throughout. Like let's not wait to have it's these type of conversations. Yeah. Even though this month, it's not about waiting. It's more or less about just highlighting it and putting more light on yeah. it. So I understand where it's coming from, and you know, it is something that needs to be further discussed against amongst the black delegation of how we're going to go forth about dealing with this month and what it is that we're going to teach. Um, we're talking about obviously, you know, dealing with the meek situation and dealing with your ex. And look, man, if you have a situation with your ex, or you have anybody at all in your life you decide to want to not deal with no more, don't down them after the fact. Um, it's not something that you know. I mean, it's just all the situations. It's not something that you know. Are I mean, you, you, you're always going to realize things about people, but at the same time, like at one point you love that person, you can't like go on a war path against them. You know what I'm saying? Or even if you still love that person, like. A lot of those things they say out of hurt <clears throat> or retaliation. Yeah, you know a lot of painful yeah. shit like that. But like if um, you put in time with somebody, man, you know. Yeah, so. You know. I mean, outside of that, man, I mean, that's a lot of what we discussed for today. Um, again, this is the Some Some Podcast. Again, where we talk a little bit about everything and anything and no topic goes untouched. Again, I'm your host with the absolute fucking most. Hey, little boo. This is how we stacks. How we stacks. Until next time, again, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our channel. Follow us for all our updated events. And we look forward to hearing from you soon. Uh -huh. Always felt I had a lot of wisdom. Uh -huh. Born with common sense, I like to listen. Yeah. Trying to get an edge on competition. Yeah. Throwing up a shot for the win. I won't break it. Hey. I pledge allegiance only to myself And most of life is overcoming heads you've been dealt It's such a soap opera as the world is always turning Enlightened creatures keep our minds open, fuck the form